It's 5 a.m. in the morning. The sun hasn't come up yet, but the moon's still high. I've just come in from Europe. For me, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. Just a time to go for a walk. I'm going to walk around this great big speedway here, this two and a half mile oval, to have a look at it like I've never seen it before. The eminence and the emptiness here at this time of the morning is awe-inspiring. Before we finish this walk, these empty seats will be filled up with the ardent enthusiasts who are prepared to sit outside all night waiting for the gates to open. I've walked out of pit lane and I find myself here in turn one. The thing that immediately hits you is the new top surface. This has been put on for the 77 race. It's the first time that this racetrack's been surfaced all the way around for a very long time. You notice the dark line of the groove here. Then over there, the much lighter color where no driver wishes to trade. That's virgin territory. And if you get out there, the chances are you're gonna have an accident. The track is absolutely immaculate. I can never remember in all of my experience ever seeing a racetrack so beautifully turned out and prepared for a race. Clarence Kegel, the man who looks after this racetrack, should get a great big bouquet. There's hardly a speck of dirt between the wall and the racetrack itself on the outside. And then on the inside, the beautifully kept lawns cut right to the edge of the track. And over there, you've got these flower beds, again, beautifully kept, and the finely manicured privet hedges behind that. Over there is something that I don't like. There's a single barrier over there, and that I don't approve of. If a race car were to lose a wheel up here through a mechanical failure or coming together, he could get into this infield here and hit that. He could even go right over it, and that isn't safe. I'd like to see triple height barrier there, or a concrete wall, or even chain link fencing would be better. But Indianapolis, on the whole, is a very safe racetrack with tremendous facilities. All the rescue trucks, all the fire trucks, a hospital in the field, very high standard has been kept at Indianapolis over the years in safety. I've walked round to turn two now. You see the luxury suites that were built in 1973. You see that the sun is now rising and I'm sitting below another great safety benefit here at Indy, the great debris or debris fence that protects the spectators. I'm sitting on top of turn two, above this nine degree banking, sitting on the wall that of course is freshly painted for the 77 race. The cars entering turn three here will be coming in at around 220 plus miles an hour. As I look to the outside, to the outfield here, I see the new grandstands and down here in the infield, I see the old grandstands. Can you imagine now that at Indianapolis they can seat 250,000 people? In the infield they can accommodate 25,000 cars. The whole complex encompasses 559 acres. It's got a nine-hole golf course in the infield and just outside the racetrack, an 18-hole championship golf course. Quite a spread. This is the signature left by a race car on a track, a signature that no racing driver wants to leave. These tire marks are from Jerry Sneaver, who started to spin in turn three up there and went all the way down to turn four. He spun for 500 feet on the hard surface and then spun an additional 400 feet on the grass. For a race driver, it's like a nightmare, like a bad dream when he starts to spin at this speed. He just sits there and hopes that he's going to come to a stop without making contact, either with a wall or with something in the infield. If the speed's now attained at Indianapolis, you spin for a very long time. As I walk out of turn four, I'm impressed. I'm impressed by the vastness of this racetrack at this point. This is the beginning of the pit lane, the entrance to pit lane. As I look down pit lane, I see a regiment of fire extinguishers standing at attention. So I come to the end of my morning walk around this two and a half mile speedway. I come to this a yard of brick striping the track. It's all that's left of the original brickyard and how many famous names have crossed this. The air is still, but the atmosphere is pregnant. The fans wait for the cars and their stars to burst into life and demonstrate their superhuman talents 
round this great racetrack. In other parts of the world, there are older racetracks in Indy. But for me, I think it's the granddaddy of them all. <laughs>